Okay, good morning from Bangkok. I've got a special video for you guys today because I'm actually leaving Bangkok and leaving Thailand. Those who were in my live chat will know I'm leaving because of you guys. The subscribers decided I have to go somewhere. I made a bold statement in the live and said like, you guys choose where I go. And everyone got kind of like writing in the comments, go to the where, go to where, go to where. So those who are in the live will probably know where I'm going. So let's go to the train and get to the airport. I'm so excited to go as well because it's been a while there's going to be some crazy videos for sure coming your way and i'm like super excited to get there let's go as i'm leaving bangkok of course i will miss this place i'm just like a short walk to all the public transport like to get to the airport and everything that's why i like to live here it's so convenient just walk to the train hop on the train and go to the airport that's how easy it is for me but i will miss this place a little bit but let's get going i'm i'm so excited i cannot explain to you guys to go back and make some wild videos Okay guys, I suppose I better give you some info while I'm doing this. So if you want to get to the airport, you go on the BTS SkyTrain to Paya Thai and then you just basically follow the signs like I have to the airport link and ride to the last stop which is the airport. But as you can see in the stations they've got like, if you're coming the other way you arrive, BTS downstairs, it's all signposted really well. The ticket machines are there or you can go up to the counter and ask the staff as well. So let's go and get a ticket for the airport link and go to the airport first flight coming up so you can see the Swanakom airport costs 45 baht not bad you get a little token like this for the airport link one and then just go through and wait at the platform super easy for all stations we're starting at a8 we're going to a1 this is what i mean about bangkok transportation Super easy. I've been all around the world and it's probably one of the easiest tram transports to use, to be honest. I don't know why people bother with taxis here. Just waste time sitting in the traffic, waste money. Here you can see the price, 45 baht only to get to the airport. So go up and hop on the train. The place I'm going to next is not so convenient. But look how busy it is. It, it does get pretty busy on the train at certain times too. Just like that guys we're in the airport on the ground floor so if you want to do the journey the other way you just have to go down to the ground floor it's super easy to do I don't know why anyone gets a taxi the journey combined for the two trains cost 80 baht if you took a taxi it's gonna be at least 500 baht so let's go and get this first flight finally got through so I'm gonna go and wait at the gate first flight I'm going to Singapore so I'm just going to go and sit down and grab some food. As you can see, Bangkok Airport is mad busy again as well. It took me ages to go through. Like, going two hours before the flight here don't really work anymore. But as you can see, we've got all the designer shops here if you want to do a bit of shopping in the airport. So let's go and grab some food and wait to go to Singapore. On the flight to go to Singapore and actually I wasn't expecting this kind of big plane for such a short flight but I'm going on an absolute mission for you guys today because I have to chill in Singapore airport like all night until my next flight tomorrow but I'm hoping it will be worth it I'm just a man of my word so I had to do what you guys said finally made it to Singapore last time I was in this uh, airport I actually had a really bad experience those who have followed a long time will know what I'm talking about I was like nearly deported from here 
I'll talk more about that when I get some uh, food, but yeah, this airport's crazy. It's pretty much like a luxury fashion mall or something like that. You can see with the carpets, duty freeze, and like down there they have all the like Louis Vuitton Prada, so you can do your shopping. But in this airport, it's a bit more extreme than the other airports. Check out the Louis, the Louis shop, huge, and Tiffany and Co. just come upstairs to the 24-hour food court they have here in Singapore airport and I ate in one of the kind of cow mangai Thai style well it's Singapore chicken and rice the chicken and rice I'll call it cow mangai anyway from living in Thailand so you can see it there got the chicken got the rice it always comes with the soup of course the food court there's not too many people here as well which is nice I'm just sitting I've got a nice view I'm on the balcony area, nice view of Singapore Airport, Dior, Louis Vuitton. They have all these like little water features and stuff like that in Singapore Airport too. So, let's get into this beach. Try the soup first. Ah, that's nice. Good food. Chicken and rice. Some old lady clean is mad, mad in the world. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Really good. This actually tastes so nice, but guys, of course, airport food, this has cost me like six US dollars. But still cheaper than the subway I ate in Bangkok. I didn't show you guys that. I got a subway in Bangkok cost ten dollars. <laughs> absolute robbery but like I was saying those who have been watching me a long time will know like last time I was in this airport I had a really bad situation they like detained me and we're gonna send me back to England but luckily I booked a ticket to Vietnam and they did not send me back to England so I had a really bad experience like trapped in this airport before but as as you guys who have followed me for a long time will know since then I got the new passport and everything's good. Now I just have a six hour wait in Singapore airport on the next flight. I'm sure some of you may have guessed already where I'm going. I think you know which country I'm going but maybe you don't know which city so get commenting which city I'm going to. Mm. Oh this chicken rice really good. As you can see currently 1.45 a.m. Found a nice little place in Singapore airport, chilling on the floor, got the bag, got a plug, got a pillar to relax on. So I'm back to sleeping on airport floors, back to roaming Hogan. So many of you probably know where I'm heading to. You I'm not gonna like spoil it in this video, it's just gonna be funny to see where people say. Singapore airport's pretty nice to walk around. It's got the carpet as well, so it's easy to sleep on the floor. So, good night. And in the airport, I have to brush the teeth in the bathroom and everything like that. You just feel dirty. You guys got me on some missions. Everyone making me do this mission. The reason I'm doing it as well is because the... The direct flights were mad expensive, like times four, nearly 300 euro to go from Bangkok to Cebu. So if I stopped in Singapore, my flight was only 90. Best taxi driver yeah, yeah. from Cebu Airport, and he lets you uh, smoke cigarettes in the car. <laughs> what a guy! <laughs> we were talking about drinking Red Horse, but he cannot because he's driving. <laughs> but I can. <laughs> Look, I don't miss this about Cebu the traffic, it hasn't changed. Probably more traffic than before. So we have to go to Hippodromo and find my guest house. I have no idea where it is, I yeah. guess that is. We will find it, we have Google Maps. So, let's go. Back in Cebu, it's gonna be some exciting videos. Back to Pasil and Amita for some drinking sessions. 
I think you have to come, Volta. But this is my plan in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, Find yeah, a good yeah. wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe two. Yeah. Two wife. Two wife? Two wife better than one, right? <laughs> <laughs> when one gives you a headache, you go to the other one. Well, I mean, you wife? Yeah. Oh. Better, I think, right? You don't think? Yeah. <laughs> This is what I love about the Philippines. When you come to the Philippines, the first person to meet is so yeah, friendly, yeah, 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 yeah. you know? Everyone's so friendly. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's just having fun. It's good. Yeah. So I've arrived at my guest house called Magabel. Christ knows where I'm staying because I was driving down. It's kind of like, as you can see, kind of like what that area here. But yeah, this is the room I booked. I kind of read the reviews late, but this is where we're staying. Magabel's guest house. Hello. Okay, thank you. Tom. Oh, your room is not finished. Oh, no. Because two people. Yeah, no, no. I only just arrived. I have to sleep on the roof. I did, no. Before I finish your room, I. You go to the rooftop okay. and stay a while. Okay. Uh, after finishing your room, I tell you. Okay. Okay. Yes. This place has surprised me a bit inside actually because look, it's like pretty nice. They've got some nice decorations going on in here. Check it out. I'm staying in the kind of squatter area that side. But apparently it's a walk away from Ayala Mall. Some nice steep steps. So if you're an old boy, maybe not too easy. But, because it's early morning, my room's not ready, so she told me to walk to the rooftop. They have a rooftop, so that's what we're doing. Seems to be a good few rooms in there. Nice little spot, I suppose. I've read a few reviews about people saying like, they felt like it was dangerous here and stuff, but that's what we like. Look, nice. Nice little rooftop area. Oh, they have a kitchen here too. Ah, pretty decent. I like it. Look at the views from here, guys. Oh, it's bloody hot in Cebu. Whew. Check it out. So this is where I'm staying. This is the view I've got behind. I guess I was over that way somewhere. And yeah, Magabel's guest house. Guys, I found it so hard actually to get a bloody hotel here because there's synagogue like everywhere's booked out and the ones that are left is just like ridiculous money like hundreds of dollars a night and stuff like that. So this one for four nights cost me 45 euro which I think is like great. I'll show you the room when she lets me go in. For now we'll just chill here. Excited to be back in Cebu a lot guys. Got into the room, it's pretty small, just a single bed. Uh, check it out, it's got like the bedside locker, the single bed, a little desk, which is all right for me. It'll fit my laptop, I can edit the videos there. They give like some, what's this, soap, toothpaste. It's got a little aircon unit there. We've, we've got a view. We got a bit of a view actually, not bad. And then, small little bathroom. As always in Philippines, you got the buckets to wash in, because some Filipinos wash like that, as you saw when I lived in the province. Got the shower, not sure is it hot and cold, we'll check later, the toilet and the bomb gun. See if the bomb gun's working. No. No, no water, great. The toilet, the toilet flush is released. Let's see if this works. Jesus Christ, the water better work. No water. How are we gonna have a shower with no water? Pardon me. This is a good start. I will have to let that drop in. Looks like we'll be sharing in the bucket in this place. Jesus Christ. I'll have to go and ask maybe the water supplies off. And yeah, that's pretty much the room. Basic little room. Costs basically a tenner a night. I suppose you cannot complain for that, but you would want the water to work when it's this hot. 
Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to show you my travel to Cebu. Excited to be back. Stay tuned for more crazy videos coming your way soon. Ciao.